What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. For today's video, as it is now autumn, I thought what better thing to do than to do an autumn haul. Today's video is actually in collaboration with Pretty Little Thing. They have such cute things for autumn right now on their website. So I put together five different outfits and we're just gonna see what they're about. I actually really, really love what I picked out. So I'm really excited to share it with you guys. If you guys are brand new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Roxy. Welcome to my channel. If you guys wanna stick around, make sure you guys subscribe down below but I reckon this video is about to be long so grab a snack grab a drink and without further ado let's get on into the video all right so first things first I think I'm gonna start off with one of my favorite outfits out of all the five that I have put together with the things that were in this sort of like autumn range just a spoiler alert everything in this video is either nude white beige or like tan like brown kind of colors because that's just my kind of vibe I love wearing things like this and especially around autumn I feel like it's very on trend so my first outfit is literally here this is the whole thing so let's go through each thing one by one the first item I have is this right here which is basically a little slinky body I just love the color like I don't own anything like this in my wardrobe that's brown like this it gives me such like Yeezy vibes I literally swear I've seen Kim Kardashian wear things like this it's just very simple very very nice quality like really stretchy too now for the bottoms I went for a pair of joggers in a very similar kind of color scheme so slightly lighter brown I want this outfit to be very like casual slouchy but still like put together so this pair of joggers i have right here they feel so nice and thick but i can just tell they're going to be like really nicely fitted and not too oversized this is what they look like they have the cinching in around the ankles really really nice and also they have real pockets you guys know how i feel about real pockets so that's a great plus so so far that's the base of the outfit now the next item i have is actually a jacket this is a black jacket you guys don't really see me wearing black very often, but around autumn and winter, I like to whack a few of the darker colors out. And still, I would say it's a neutral color. Like I own quite a lot of things in my wardrobe that are black. So I picked up this amazing faux leather jacket. This is like a faux crocodile, I would say. Faux crocodile kind of leather. I just love how cropped this is. This makes it so wearable with so many different outfits and it's not like too thick. I feel like it will give you enough warmth around autumn time. And the fact that it's not too thick just means that it will be like a really nice transitional piece from summer to autumn. I also love the fact that the whole jacket is black. A lot of the time on jackets like this that are faux leather, you get like, I don't know, silver zippers and things like that, which I'm not really that big of a fan of like silver. So the fact that it has like black matte buttons, I think is really cool the next item of the outfit are the shoes now you guys are literally not ready for these shoes i think they're so sick so this is them oh my god i'm just in love i'm just literally in love look at the heel it's tall but it has quite a thick platform so i feel like it's not actually going to be that tall i just love boots like this that are super chunky they give you lots of support but still give you the height i just think i'm gonna feel so badass in these i just can't wait to try them on now to give the outfit a little bit of sass i wanted to actually like accessorize a little bit with maybe like a hat so i found this black felt beret on the pretty little thing website i just thought i would pick it up it wasn't that expensive either and then lastly we have the bag are you guys ready three two one ha it literally matches the jacket okay let me just quickly show you i'm sorry what who is she she's a matching goddess like this is amazing i literally found the matching patterns like by chance i was just looking through the black bags on their website and i saw this and i was like oh my god i need to get this because that will match the jacket perfectly so this is what it looks like again i love this bag because instead of like a silver or a gold chain it has a matte black chain how freaking cool is that like i've never seen a bag that has a matte black chain like this and also it's made of like a plastic so it's not too heavy and i feel like it will actually be quite comfortable so you can just wear it like this or you can wear it on the shoulder like that and i just feel like it will really complete the outfit so i guess without further ado let's put everything together and see how it looks all right guys so here is the very first outfit i am obsessed with it i feel like i actually managed to put together a really awesome outfit that's kind of out of my comfort zone but i am just obsessed with the vibe of this outfit i feel like it's very relaxed but still 
still really dressy and put together somehow. I mean, the joggers are just such a staple. And then can we just take a minute to look at the shoes? The shoes are amazing. They look so freaking tall, but they're actually really comfortable because like I said, the platform is quite thick already. I think the jacket really, really completes the whole look. And also I popped on the beret and I actually really, really like the vibe. This is how the bag looks with the outfit. I really like the fact that it's got the plastic chain because it's not too heavy and you could also wear it like this. Yeah, I really, really like this outfit. I just think it's so cool and like edgy. I'm also gonna show you guys what the outfit looks like without the coat because I feel like that's also a whole different vibe. So this is what it looks like without the coat. I just love this slinky top underneath. I think it's just such a nice color. And again, it really reminds me of like the Yeezy kind of vibes. I love the whole two-toned brown kind of thing. I think it just goes so nicely with the black as well. So all in all, I am very, very happy with this outfit so far. There's literally nothing that doesn't fit me right. Like everything fits super nice. The shoes are comfortable. The bag is great quality. So I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. All right, so outfit number two, we're switching it up a little bit we're going more towards like the lighter colors of autumn like the whites the nudes I just live in that kind of stuff so the first item I have is actually the top here so this is a white ribbed top I am obsessed with white recently. I just think it's such a nice, sleek and clean color. And I think it's just perfect for autumn and winter or just really all year round. So this is the top I picked up. It's basically just a turtleneck. It's very, very stretchy. It's ribbed and the fabric just feels like it'll be very breathable. The reason why I really liked it is because it actually has this cutout on the chest. So it just like shows a little bit of skin. It just kind of breaks it up a little bit. It just shows a little bit of skin, kind of like this top, but not in a way that's gonna make you super Cold. So that's the first item of the outfit. The next item is actually the trousers. So this is what the trousers look like. I'll also pop a photo on screen of how it looks on the model. They are really cool. They're very like smart, casual. I feel like you could definitely wear something like this into the office, at work, anything like that. And they're a little bit different because the seam is like, it goes all the way down the center of the leg, but then at the top it kind of curves around. So it gives that illusion of like wider hips, I think. So yeah, those two things together. So Far, I think are gonna be really perfect. And then over the top, I went for a jacket. Well, more of a blazer. So this outfit is kind of more tailored towards maybe staying more indoors. You could totally like throw a jacket over this as well. But if you're like working or I don't know, going to like an event or anything like that, I feel like something like this is really, really nice. Oh, I didn't realize this. Um, it has shoulder pads, the blazer. <laughs> I'm not really a fan of shoulder pads, but we'll see how we get on. So basically this is the blazer. I feel like I'm not gonna do it justice by just holding it up, but it's kind of like that stone color. So it's not as warm as the trousers. Now, when I was pairing these outfits on the website, I wasn't really sure how well the colors would all like match together. So if it doesn't match perfectly, that is my fault. Just bear with me. But yeah, the blazer looked really, really nice and slick. So that's a really nice thing to throw over the top. Now for shoes for this outfit, we have the shoes right here. These are little sock booties. I love sock boots. I actually already own this exact pair from Pretty Little Thing, but in a nude color. You guys have probably seen them loads on my Instagram. So these are the like cream versions. They're a little bit like vanilla kind of colored. So they're not like straight up nude, but they're just like a slightly off white kind of color. Again, I love boots like this. Look how chunky the heel is. It's just gonna mean that your feet are gonna be super comfortable. You're not gonna wobble around if you're not particularly good at walking in heels like I'm not. So these are just perfect to give you that high, make you look stylish, but without falling over. <laughs> and then lastly, to complete the outfit, I have the bag that I feel like everyone is talking about recently, literally everywhere. Now I remember seeing this bag somewhere on Instagram and it genuinely looked like a massive scrunchie. <laughs> I'm sorry, but look, is that not exactly the same thing? Like this is a scrunchie, this is the bag. I think it's really cool though. It's just really interesting. The strap is all like crinkled. It's like, yeah, it's just very different. I just think it will add a bit of like interest to the outfit. And again, it's that same cream kind of color. So I think this should match the shoes. So I guess that's the outfit complete. Now let's just pop everything on and see how the whole thing works together. All right guys, so here is the next outfit and what it looks like on. I'm actually gonna say, even though the colors are all a different tone of like nude or cream. I actually feel like it all works together so well. Obviously when you're pairing things online, it's kind of hard to see where the colors will match 
match properly. Like for example, I thought this bag would be a very similar color to these shoes, but they're kind of like a different tone of cream. But to be honest, I actually kind of like that because I do have an outfit already that's like pretty much all one color. And this is just like all kinds of nudes, literally 50 shades of nudes. This bag is really, really cool. I've got to say, I'm actually really on board with this bag trend. I think it's just so unique and different. And visually, it just looks so interesting. There's so many like ruffles and texture to it. I just love it. This is what the blazer looks like. And actually the pad, the shoulder pad isn't as bad as I thought it would be. I thought it'd be like really bulky and make my shoulders look really wide, but it is actually perfect. I quite like how oversized the blazer is as well. It is my size. I got this in a size eight, but it naturally has that like oversized kind of vibe to it. The trousers literally fit so well. Look how nice they are. They're amazing. And they're the kind of fabric that's like really lightweight and breathable, but will still keep you warm. The top underneath the jacket looks like this. It's just a long sleeve. It's got the really nice cutout, which I so dig. And then lastly, the shoes. You guys, of course, know that I already like these because as I said, I already own a pair in another color. I just think they're so comfortable. They're really stylish and they go with any outfit. So yeah, this is the finished outfit. I think everything goes really well together and I just love the fact that this is like so classy and so put together, but it's still really comfortable. Now the next outfit I am again very excited about. It's one of those ones that's like a staple in my wardrobe. I feel like you'll see me wearing this kind of outfit a lot in autumn. First item is again a little body. Now just a quick disclaimer, this whole outfit is basically this kind of color. I personally love like just one color outfits or colors that are very similar but put together. If that's not really your vibe and you don't like wearing the same color all over, all of these different items come in different colors so you could totally change it up. But personally, I got it all in this camel color. So the first item is this little body. Again, it's ribbed. It's that sort of like um, muscle tank, I think, style. So it's just like straight across and then it just doesn't have the sleeve. Again, the fabric is super stretchy. It just will be really lightweight and perfect for layering. We then have another pair of joggers. I think these are actually exactly exactly the same style and shape as the previous ones, but just in a different color. So this is the lighter nude kind of camel color. So I thought that would go perfect with the muscle tank. Now I finished off the outfit with a teddy bear coat. You guys know that every single autumn, I pretty much pick up a new teddy bear coat. The thing is, I know that I buy them a lot, but they are literally the thing that I wear all year round, like pretty much through all the cold seasons, I will wear a teddy bear coat. So I do get a lot of use out of them and they do end up becoming a little bit like not nice on the texture. So I picked up this one. This one is a little bit cropped, which I personally really like. I feel like even though it's cropped, it's not gonna be too short. I just love how oversized it is. Look how amazing the color is. And it actually has little pockets right here, which do work. I just think this will really nicely finish off the outfit. And then lastly, I have a pair of shoes. The shoes are literally amazing. You guys are gonna love these. Here are the shoes. Oh my God, they kind of look like Timberlands, but not. And I just love the fact that everything is all the same color. Like the sole is the same, this part is the same, and they're kind of like that faux suede sort of fabric. On the Pretty Little Thing website, I also did see one of the models wearing shoes just like this with little socks. And these are so cute. They kind of look like um, Gucci socks, but they just have the PLT logo in the middle. I love these. I think they're gonna go so nicely with the boots. So let's try this whole outfit on and see how it looks. So this is the next outfit and what it looks like on. I've got to say, I am a big fan of this outfit. I love how everything just so cohesively goes together. Like the jacket and the shoes are pretty much the same color. This is almost the same color. I love it. This is the kind of outfit you will see me in pretty much every day if you see me around town. I just love wearing joggers with like a nice fitted top and then a big fluffy coat over the top. I am just obsessed with how comfortable this outfit is. I love comfort over most things. Like things can look cute, but if they're not comfortable, I probably won't wear them. So this is what the top looks like. I love the top. Even just without the coat, the outfit is so cute. Look how nicely fitted that top is. It just makes my top half look so slender and then even though the bottoms are slightly more baggy. I just feel like it all works. Now the next outfit is a slightly different kind of vibe. It's a little bit more dressy, but still quite casual and very warm. So the first item I have is this. This is a little cream jumper dress. So here is what it looks like. It's actually not one of those dresses that's gonna be really thick and will get you really sweaty. It's basically just a little turtleneck with no sleeves and it's quite long. Again, you can really layer this up. You can use it as a transitional piece. So I think it's a really nice thing to have. Now over the top, I have this amazing 
faux fur coat. It's super long and I actually saw Molly Mae wear this on the website. I actually sized down quite a lot because I looked at the photo of Molly Mae wearing it and it looked very oversized on her. And I feel like she probably would have gone for like a size eight. So I actually decided to go for a size six instead. This is what the coat looks like. I feel like I won't be able to do it justice, but look how amazing it is. The color is literally perfect. It's like that cool toned, taupe kind of color. The sleeves are very, very long. And again, it has pockets, like real pockets that are functional. So that's amazing. And then for the shoes, I went for pretty much very similar shoes to the ones that Molly Mae was wearing in her like outfit photo. I just really liked that outfit. So I thought, why not try and like recreate it? So the shoes are these. I don't think they're exactly the same as hers. I think hers were white, but these are like a very light nude kind of color. And then lastly, to complete that whole outfit, I have one more thing and it's it's actually a little bag. Oh my gosh, how cute is this bag? I feel like these kind of bags, I think they're called baguette bags. They're very on trend right now. As you guys can see, the shoes in the bag are very similar in color. So I feel like they'll go really nicely together. So let's go put this outfit on and hopefully it all looks nice. All right guys, so this is the next outfit. I am in love with this one. I just think it's so dressy, but in a very casual and still really warm way. Not only am I pretty much completely covered with this massive jacket, but there's actually actually only one little slither of skin on show because these boots are actually really, really long. In fact, the boots are so long that I actually had to tuck my dress a little bit into my bra so that it would kind of lift it and give that little slither of skin on show. Overall, I really love the tones of this outfit. I think everything goes together so well, like the coat, the bag, it's pretty much all the same tones. And then the white dress underneath is just a really nice base for the whole outfit. I think you could do so many things with a nice little dress like this. So yeah, this is the outfit. Let me know what you guys think. Have I done a good job at pairing everything together? Does it all look good? I'm definitely a big fan and I think my favorite part of the outfit is definitely the shoes. And now the next outfit is a very lounge at home, but still the kind of outfit that you can just run to town if you need to run some errands. The main part of the outfit is this little two piece. Again, it's that fuzzy kind of fabric. It's the teddy bear two piece. You guys have probably seen these literally everywhere. They're just so soft and so cozy and really wearable. I own quite a few outfits like this by now, but I just can't get enough. I genuinely wear outfits like this all around the house pretty much every day and I just think they're so comfortable. This one I really like because it kind of has that v-neck so it's just gonna be really flattering. And then these are the bottoms. They're exactly the same fabric and look how freaking adorable they are. They actually are cinched in at the ankle which I really really like that. I think they're just gonna be so cozy. Now of course the two-piece can be worn just by itself at home but if you did want to go out you might be a little bit cold on the top half so I did pick up this coat that I am just obsessed with. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of like that puffer style coat, but instead of it being puffer, it actually has like a quilted sort of texture to it. It looks pretty plain and boring on the front to be honest, but the back is where the magic happens. It's got this really cool pretty little thing, sort of like strip going all across the back and the sleeves. And as you can see, it also has a hood. I just personally love the like quilted texture. It just looks like a giant pillow. And then lastly, to complete the outfit, I also went for some trainers that are very much, um, well, let's just say on theme with the color. These are the trainers. I actually own a few pairs of trainers like this, but I find recently that a lot of them are kind of too small for me. Like I usually get a size five in trainers, but I think my foot has weirdly grown. So I actually got these in a size six and hopefully this should fit me a lot better. So I'm just gonna pop the whole outfit on now and see how it all looks together. The fluffy sets have literally taken the world by storm right now. I think everyone is wearing them and also their mom. So I just really, really like this because of how cozy it is. Also, now that it's a lot colder, this sort of fabric is just so nice and toasty, even when you wear it outside. So I've just paired it with the trainers and these trainers definitely fit me a lot better. So that's amazing. I really, really like them. They're very comfortable actually. And then lastly, the jacket, this is what it looks like. It's a little bit oversized, but I love that like thick, big coat kind of vibe. It just makes you feel so cozy inside. And then this is what it looks like from the back. It's got that pretty little thing branding on the back and the sleeves. And then this is what the hood looks like on as well. Now without the coat, the outfit is equally as cute. This is just the kind of thing that I would wear at home 
just lounging around, minding my own business or even working. I absolutely love the color and the fit of it is perfect. It fits so well around the waist, but then it has a lot of stretch to it still. So yeah, this outfit in general is definitely a big winner for me. So that is everything for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the different outfits that I put together for autumn. I feel like there's gonna be something for everyone in this video because not only do we have the more dressy outfits, but then we also have some of the more loungy kind of outfits, which are so my vibe. Out of interest, let me know which one of these outfits was your favorite in the comments below. I'd love to know. And as always, all of the links to every outfit will be in the description as well. Again, I wanna say a massive thank you to Pretty Little Thing for working with me on this video. I really appreciate it and I'm so excited. I got to work with one of my favorite brands. So I guess that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Mwah.